Hey everyone, it's Jen with Spirited Saturdays, and this week we are talking about the holidays, being kind to yourself during the holidays. It's definitely that time of year um, where a lot of people can feel maybe a little more triggered than usual or a little more susceptible um, to thoughts or behaviors or concerns regarding eating body image, feelings about your body, feelings about um, so social occasions, feelings about your interactions with other people, worries about what people might say to you, worries that you might feel triggered. A lot can come up around the holidays. Um, it's often a time when we see family that we haven't seen in a while or, you know, that we're not very close to or that um, maybe don't intuitively understand the situation regarding food and what is what what does feel right to hear and what doesn't feel right to hear. There's a lot of that going on right now for people who are struggling. And there's also a lot of um, mood changes that go on this time of year, a lot of depression and a lot of anxiety in general, whether or not it's about food. So what I, what I want to bring to this, uh, to the table here is just some, some bits and pieces of things that have helped me in the past and that continue to help me and that I continue to learn when it comes to dealing with people that, um, you might not be used to dealing with or being around a lot of food or being in situations where that, that may require some flexibility or sp some spontaneity. So my main suggestions about this would be to remember that if anyone says anything to you that you feel is triggering to you, and maybe these things are really insensitive things by nature to say, Try and remember that the person saying them doesn't realize that. And they don't, they're not, they're not, that's not their intention. Their intention is not to trigger you. Their intention is probably to do the opposite. So they just don't know. They don't know how to deliver that. They don't understand that language at all. So they're honestly thinking they're they're doing something helpful. So try not to use those words and and use them against yourself. Even though, even if they may be flat out blatantly disrespectful, the words themselves are misguiding because they are misguided. If anything, have compassion for the person who doesn't communicate effectively. And sure, you could educate them, but if it's not the time or the place, then don't worry about that. Try to just Keep to your own and understand what you need regardless of what anyone else says or implies or what you think they're implying. Um, another thing is just anxiety. When I feel anxious, something that immediately helps me, immediately calms me down, no matter where I am, is taking a deep breath. Just a deep inhale and a nice releasing exhale across the board. That has to have immediate benefits. It, it might be the last thing on your mind, it might be the last thing that occurs to you, but if you really just pause wherever you are, take one and just let it all in. Like, just that one changed my chemistry. Like, it, it literally had a calming effect on me just now. So if I did three or four or five of those in a row, like that would seriously enhance or change or transform my outlook and my perspective, just how I could, um, um, how sensitive I might be to my environment, you know, and when I'm feeling overstimulated. Um, so if you need at any point, you always have a chance, you always have permission to either go off to the side somewhere and just take a few deep breaths or sit where you are and just take a few deep breaths and try that and see how it changes your feeling and 
based on that, know that you can always go back to that. So that's definitely one thing that you can do. Have a wonderful holiday with and for yourself. Use this time to celebrate all the growth that you have had. Don't don't reflect on the setbacks. Reflect on and focus on the growth. Or, or if you do focus on the setbacks, focus on what growth came from that. Try to make it about peace. This can be a time of year for peace, for, for peaceful reflection, for deep reflection even. I think some of the best moments that I've had on holidays and holiday seasons were being outside at night and looking at the lights and looking at the snow and being in the snow, being in the falling snow. The other, a couple weeks ago when my freedom fighter friends came in from England, uh, we just stood for a while watching the ice skaters in Bryant Park and that was one of my best holiday memories because it was just so pure and childlike and magical and beautiful and peaceful and strangely quiet. And um, those are the special moments, those moments when you can be together with other people and feel that bond and feel kind of the magic of that bond and not even have to say a word. I mean, you're just present. And, uh, you know, but I mean, some of the best holiday moments have been just focusing on the lights and observing people smiling, going to those holiday markets and just seeing how, like, happy and, and connect, you know, people are and connecting to, like, the playfulness and the wonderment of it is very childlike and very just full of wonderment and awe and so try to focus try to find what makes you feel that way and just internalize it and just feel it and enjoy it um because it can be a very special time of year if you transform it into that and you allow it to be that and you make it your own and try to recognize that as like the broader picture um, by the way, I have, uh, the best sweater of my life on. I will show you this really quickly, but yeah, it's like, it's like sweater. This is my sweater. Um, <laughs> and it happens to be the winter solstice today. And I didn't even make that connection when I put it on, but there's sun, which that's what it is. So yeah. Um, all right. Well, I hope you have a great week and a great holiday and I'll see you again when it's still the holiday but enjoy your week and take care of yourself